is Hardik with ENM, and today I'm going to show you the new WinCC Unified Comfort HMI screen. So what I have here is a 12 inch panel, uh, just came in. Let's go ahead and open the box. So here is how it looks from inside. We got some mounting clips, there is a DVD, there is a manual, there is some mounting instructions, little bracket, small DVD. 24-volt uh, DC connector for the power supply and here is the actual panel looks pretty nice nice black bezel front uh, it's got the here's the part number it's got the same two slots for the memory card like the comfort panels here are all the different ports it's got four USB ports two Profinet ports another Profinet port which is a separate subnet RS-485 and here is the connector for the power supply Let's go ahead and power it up and load a project and see how the screens look. Alright, the HMI just booted up. Here is the main dashboard for the HMI. As you can see, there are nice big icons, everything's color coded, system properties, runtime, networking, security. There's options to install apps, like I said. Uh, it is an edge device, so you can install your third-party apps, uh, service and commissioning, languages, and external devices. Let's go ahead and look into system properties. So here's all our panel information, display, screensaver, operating system, uh, runtime properties, network settings. So I did go into network settings and set my IP addresses. Here is the X2 second port, so it does have two different subnets, like I mentioned before. Uh, user management, you can have all your login users here, uh, hardware interface, so you can connect your USB and your keyboard and mouse, uh, date and time and region settings, service and commissioning, so you can do your backup and restore from here, and different apps, some of the apps are already loaded, so you have a basic browser, PDF viewer, media player, email, document, and with the Cymatic Edge, you can install new apps, let's go ahead and start the runtime, so it's a sample project that I just got it off from Siemens website and I downloaded it to the HMI. The graphics are really nice, it looks pretty slick. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, so here is the main screen, so when the operator is in front of the machine, that's all they can see. Uh, they can go into editing mode and you can see all the information is right there and easily visible. Looks pretty clean. Uh, it does have gesture support for multi-touch, so I can swipe just like our other devices that we use. I can go to editing mode, let me go back to the main screen and like I said I can swipe so I can change the screen by just a single swipe, uh, turn on and off the machine, uh, again higher resolutions for the XYZ axis, different configurations, uh, service so if we need to service a wall we can have a checklist so I can say okay it's in maintenance mode, I disconnected electrical power supply, I disconnected the left pipe. You can load your PDF manuals or video manuals. Let's go ahead and look at a video manual. Again, I don't have it linked up, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see if I hit play. Uh, add, yep, so I added up a video file. Uh, let's see how it plays and hit play. So it does play smoothly and nicely. The graphics look pretty nice. Let's go ahead and forward it a little bit. Yep, it is pretty decent video, actually it's pretty nice video quality, let's go ahead and close that, uh, we are back to our main graphics, uh, there is different trends, so the trends are pretty nice uh, and powerful options, uh, you can export trends, you can export a CSV file directly from the trend, so it's pretty useful, uh, here's the main navigation, so I can go and look at my messages, all my alarms are there. So let's go ahead and simulate some more falls. You can have a pop-up screen just for your alarms. Let's go ahead and disable those and reset. And they're all active, so I need to acknowledge them. Yep, acknowledge, there's still one more there. Uh, that's just for the SD card. I can go back to my performance screen. So you can have a nice OEE dashboard to see how your machine's doing, how much good the production's running. Uh, what's the machine uptime? You can have your little trend screen there, OEE values, uh, last three days of production. Let's go ahead and look at settings. So you can access the same HMI settings from your runtime. 
set up IP addresses, brightness, or go back to the runtime, take a screenshot. Let's go back to our application, parameters, so you can do scrolling, which looks pretty nice. Configuration, you can jog the robot uh, and teach the robot points. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Messages, we already saw that. Performance, uh, okay, power state. Let's go ahead and go back. You can turn off the machine. So you can have different graphics, so you can change it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So this is back to my dashboard. So as you can see, the graphics are pretty nice and slick. It is much nice glass feel. The swiping and uh, touch is really, really nice. Much more improvement compared to the older basic panels. Thank you.